What's up everybody, CHM Carnivores here. Today I'm gonna to talk about my two favorite truncata crosses, what I love about them, how to grow them, uh, give you an update on them, most importantly, where you can get them. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to talk about these two absolutely gorgeous truncata hybrids, uh, why they're my favorite in the collection, how to grow them, and most importantly, where you can get them. One of them is for sale currently, and I'm gonna tell you where that is at the end of the video. So, first up, we have from Carnivero, the Nepenthes Truncata JV Giant by C-Clone. Carnivero C-Clone is an absolutely enormous Truncata. What I love about this one, so uh, JB was a grower uh, who I believe has passed, I hope I'm not wrong about that, but uh, that's the information that I'm gathering. Uh, but had it's just an, an absolutely enormous truncata as well. What I love about this one is the, you just can't, I can't get a good view on it because of the shading, but the inside of that picture is completely plum purple. Absolutely gorgeous, completely unique to any sort of truncata that I've seen. Um, most of them that I see pull like shades of red. So like the Hiroshima clone, um, the one I'm about to show over here, even the uh, tit uh, Titanic, they all pull like shades of red. This one has a very bright green uh, exterior and that plum purple interior. Absolutely gorgeous. It's not nearly as stripy as the other truncatas, but it makes up for it for that interior. As you can see, it's a very easy grower for me. It, per it currently just put out a new giant leaf um, jump. I've had this one a relatively short period of time I would say eight months maybe a little longer than that and it started off as a fairly small plant um, it uh, I've noticed with the JB clones and I, I don't know I don't have any scientific reason to back this up but I've noticed with them in the collections uh, both of these have JB in them that they they seem to grow so much faster than other truncatas which um, I'm all about and I'm sure everybody else is uh, so that's that one. I love it. It's gorgeous. I can't wait for it to get bigger. I can't wait to see these pictures uh, at full size with that purple interior. Now, this one right here is the top favorite of mine. This is JB by Payson Red. You've seen me uh, talk about this before. Uh, and then also, it, uh, <clears throat> uh, you've seen me make shorts about this. I actually did a video about this one a little while ago. And I was just looking back at that, and I couldn't believe how small it was uh, just that little bit of time ago. And so that's kind of what prompted me, like, holy cow, i gotta, I got to let people know about this. Uh, it's, it grows so fast. And it just opened up a new picture. Uh, and because it has that patient red in it, it's going to pull a lot of that red colors. But the interior is absolutely stunning. Uh, this will continue to darken up. It does not get super uh, dark red like some of my other truncatas, which I like. It sort of stays this sort of muted green red color <clears throat> um, but both JB and Payson are absolutely enormous truncatas as you can see it's putting on another leaf jump this has been by far the fastest growing truncata that I own this thing just for truncatas uh, absolutely grows extremely fast um, I bought both of these relatively the same period of time and they were relatively the same size this one uh, admittedly have a little bit bigger size but not much and you can see the difference uh, in that short period of time this one grows like crazy and it stays gorgeous these leaves <coughs> excuse me are absolutely stunning deep deep green this light they, they come out lighter like this but they will turn this dark green uh, the shape on them is absolutely beautiful uh, and for the fun part this one is from Carnivero, and it currently is on sale. Now, it is a smaller plant. I think they're asking like 40 for it. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but I believe it's 40. Um, but uh, I've got a couple of them, actually. I've got some smaller ones that are growing over on the, on the wall rack. Um, I love them. I may end, end up buying more, <clears throat> but I could not recommend this truncata anymore. Absolutely stunning. Easy growing. Now, for any of those wanting to grow truncatas, they have thicker leaves, so they don't require as much water uh, on, on them. They are a, a lot more tolerant of that than you would think. 
Um, they do. I have had no issues with them. They will let you know pretty quickly if they are getting too much water. As you can see here, just a little bit of oedema. And oedema is where the, uh, the cells in the leaves swell up because they're too water, they have too much water in them, and then they burst, which then causes damage to the leaf. Um, but overall, they do extremely well in my conditions. I'm running about 65 to 70% humidity, um, and the temperature stays anywhere between 75 and 80 degrees consistently. Um, they will, obviously, because they're truncata, they will handle uh, warmer. What I like about this one is that a mixture between a lowland and a highland uh, truncata. <clears throat> so it's going to do extremely well in intermediate conditions. And as you can see, it's doing just that. All right, y'all, I won't keep you any longer. Really cool. I wanted to share this with you. This one currently isn't for sale at Carnivero right now that I could find. But when it does, I would jump all over that. Uh, again, just such a unique truncata. This one is still currently on sale. Um, it is a smaller one, but don't be um, dissuaded by that. They absolutely grow so fast. I hope you have a wonderful day. It was love. I, I, it was awesome getting to talk with you. Um, thank you so much for the community that you guys have provided. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you soon.